Hello everyone, in this video I'll be talking about interpolation search. Interpolation search is very similar to binary search. So if you guys don't know binary search, you should consider watching a video that I had created previously. I'll put the link down in the description. So there are a few things that you have to keep in mind for interpolation search. That is the elements of the array should be uniformly distributed. So in other words, the interval between each element in the array should be uniform. Okay. Like in same like binary search, even for interpolation search, all the elements have to be in sorted order. Now in binary search, what we used to do is find the left element, the right element, divide it, uh, add them and divide by two and find the middle element, right? So, but here we have a formula. What this formula does is, it tries to give you an index which is very close to the key. I will explain it further with an example. So, time complexity is big O of log 2 of log 2 n. This is for average case and for worst case it is big O of n. Now I'll explain interpolation search with the help of an example. Okay. So here we have an array. Let's name it R. These are the indices. And these are the elements arranged in sorted order. And if you observe closely, interval between the elements are almost equal. Not equal, but almost. Okay. So now let's try to find the key 28 in this array so let's find an estimated index which we will get by applying this formula l which is our left is initially 0 and right r which is initially 8 so l is 0 0 plus right is 8 8 minus 0 L is 0 divided by ARR of R which is ARR of R 58 minus ARR of L which is 10 this entire thing will be in our bracket into key which is 28 minus array of L which is left which is 10 okay so now the value will be 0 plus 8 by 8 minus 0 is 8 divided by 58 minus 10 is 48 into 28 minus 10 is 18 okay so now We get 1 divided by 6, which is 8, 6 or 48, so 1 by 6 into 18, so 6 3s are 18, so we get the value 3. Initially, we get 3, alright, but we compare the, then we compare the element with the key. Since the key is greater than the current element, which we have found in index EST, which is 3, we will choose the, we will break the array here. Then left will become 4 now. And we will we'll be applying interpolation search again on only this part of the array. So this is our new subarray now. We'll apply interpolation search here. So the second estimated index is now L which is 4 plus right which is 8 R there is minus L which is 4 now divided by array of writers. 58 minus 28 which is array of left array of 4 arrow 4 28
into key which is 28 minus array of left array of 4 is 28 okay so now we have 4 plus uh, 8 minus 4 is 4 divided by 58 minus 28 is 30 into 28 minus 28 is 0 anything into 0 is 0 okay so we have 4 plus 0 which is 4 now we check we compare the key with the array of 4 28 is equal to 28 Hence, this is the index of the key and our search is successful. That's it for interpolation search you guys. I hope you learned something new today and if you have some suggestions, please put it in the comments below and if you like this video, leave me a like and that will make me really happy.